this second. The best wrestler, the best technician, the hottest wrestler in the world, the world Jeff Hart, has come back to Tampa Bay, Florida for the first time ever. Jeff Hart calling every wrestler around the world out. Come on and bring your A game if you got balls. Kenny and Mega, I, I know I can whoop their ass. Beefcake, you too old, man. Joy, Joy, where are you? Van Hammer, I want you. What are you going to do, Hogan Mania? With Jeff Hart, destroy Hogan Mania. Come in my area. Come in my area. I face you. I face any. All of you. All of you. Come on. Bring your A game. Eight. I mean, ever the second. I'm free. I'm open. Come on. Come to Jeff Hart. I guarantee you, you won't survive. Y'all gonna be in a hospital at Russell Car, a five dollar wrestling champion. Just a hit my heart. And Tampa Bay going to love me. Home up. Jeff the fucking Hitman Heart.
Hey there, folks. Welcome to another edition of Sign Alive, the Marathon Edition. Russell Kahn, the slightly hungover edition oh. with the bad boy himself, Joey Janela. How are you? Every time I do something with you guys, I'm, I'm hungover. Hungover, uh, but at least you're not, like, are you banged up, too? Like, it's been a oh, long yeah. week. Oh, yeah, look at, look at, I look like Abdullah right now or some shit. Like, I got carved up pretty bad last night. Yeah, yeah, is, is the payoff underneath the right boob right there or in the boob like Abdullah used to do? He used to lift his boob up and put yeah, his nice, payoff right there. Nice little dip right here, a nice little, little boob. Right, a little boob right there. We'll put the payoff right underneath there. Nice but, uh, you guys uh, want autograph nipple pictures, let me know. It, of course. We, we've got your nipples and I think a few of these. They're I don't perfect. know. Perfect. They're succulent little. Dime side, perfect nips. It, yeah, that's always the thing. You don't want too big a nips, and then no, it's, a, no, it's no. Like a weird thing when you get big nips, you yeah. know? But I see you wearing the singlet top now, so we can cover up those nips if need be, you know? No, no, I want them on bottom. Just well, it's for flow. Like doves. Do you realize that you still have, like, a little bit of blood inside of your ears still, too? Yeah, probably. Yeah, you are You are worse for wear. That's it. Right there. I'm living. This is the, this is the life, dude. Yeah, but you this know, is what everyone dreams of. This, this, this is this little is blood hopes crust, and dreams. Little are made blood of. crust in my ear. Mm-hmm. Mm. So mm. Mm. tastes tastes great. <laughs> but uh, but Joey, thank you so much for being on set here today. I, like I said, I, I appreciate it. We have we have quite a few orders here today, okay. so I, I want to move at a decent pace so we can get you out and free. And okay. you know, thank you for your time. Yeah, right. I'm still over. You are very, very, this is just the 8 by 10s my friend. We got figures also, too. I'm still over. Holy You're shit. You're still over. Uh, you want to flip that around? My I body. thought I was borderline canceled on the internet. No, you're still good. You're Fuck. still good. Yeah. Also, too, we're still good on turnbuckle pads. Turnbuckle pads are still available. We're going to leave personalizations open on 8 by 10s uh, but we still have some turnbuckle pads available. Go over to highspotsauctions.com. We keep them open for about a half an hour into the stream. So about 1240 is when we'll show you. We're doing one o'clock. Yeah, All right, cool. Gonna walk the floor for a second. All right, we're gonna do one o'clock. Per personalization turnbuckle pads are still open. We do turnbuckle pads at the end, of course, but we're gonna start off with eight by tens. A little right blood here. on my finger. A little blood. I'm gonna save a little bit for my pizza slice slider. Just sprinkle it on there. Just sprinkle a little, little, little seasoning. A little, 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 little blood little. ear seasoning. You might, you might even might even get a little DNA on some of these eight by tens here. Probably. But uh, we're going to start it's off. It's like Terry Funk. I got the Terry Funk bandana from you guys at the auction. You did, yeah. Yeah, it has Terry's hairs all still in it. <laughs> all to my friend, yeah, Joey it. Janelle. Yeah, that, was such a, that was such a treat being with him. So if Terry Funk never wears another bandana in his life, if he never does another gig, I have the last Terry Funk bandana. Yeah. I, I don't know. And he's telling people, leave me alone. I'm an old man. Don't come to my house. He only wears bandanas for wrestling. He wears the ball cap yeah. in life, so... I had the last Terry Funk bandana. It's framed in my house. Oh. And also, you break in, I'll shoot you. Here's a little side note when I'm talking about Terry Funk. He lives on a nature preserve. And, like, he has just wild deer running everywhere. Like, he has, like, deers just walking up to his front yard and pooping in his yard. Does he feed them? No. He's just like, those goddamn deer are pooping in my yard. So I just had this image of Terry Funk wa walking out and, like, shoot punch at, like, a deer every morning. Probably he has. gets paper. He like, has. That's always what I picture with Terry has. Funk. But speaking of pictures, you have some pictures. You have a sign. Oh, Let's, not mess around. Let's not mess around. Uh, we're going to do this one in blue. Uh, oh, oh. Most of them are in gold, but this one I think will okay. be in blue because it's white. This is for Dina Relly. This is just your, just your name, so nothing okay. special on it. A couple of them got special, but this is just your, your, your signature on this one for Daniel Rayleigh right there, right there in the blue. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is, oh I don't know how to do this. Here, we'll do it on this it's camera. Like the right Brett, here. It's like the Brett Owen cam of... Fucking autographs. Yeah, yeah. I see it now. Exactly. I see it there. It You'll is. give me a victory roll a little bit later That's on to finish That's this a good thing. Picture on the, of me. Uh, it's a very great picture. Of you. 2017. I was rocking and rolling then. For sure. Less beat up. Less beat up. Uh, we're gonna do this one in gold right here, and this is uh, "I Am a Bad Boy" is the personalization on that one for Charles uh, Dasher in uh, Rigo Park, New York. I'm a bad. Am I not signing it? What am I doing? No, here? you're signing your name, but then put "I'm a bad boy" as the oh, personalization okay. he wants. Some of them want personalization. Some of them <laughs> want two Charles or two whatever. He just wants "I'm a bad boy." Everything highlighted. We've made it easy for you as I'm possible. I'm a bad boy. There you go. There it is. Am I then? I'm saying two Charles. No, you just put the "I'm a bad boy" is what he wants. That's it. You well, did a great job. There you go. See, it's that easy, Joey. We make it that easy for you. It's all new to me. I know. There's a, there, trust me, all of this is new to me as well. Usually, it's uh, fans walking up to me. I go, "What? What do you say? What do you want?" No. <laughs> we, 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 we made it easy for you. We've got it highlighted, so it will be no issues. All right, this uh, Robert uh, McChesney from the UK. He's got two pictures. Oh. We'll start with. Uh, okay, you got the blue in your hand. We'll start with this one. This this one is to Rob. 
right. this one? You're right, mate. You're right, Robert. You're doing good, mate. How's Manchester City doing this season? All right, and then he wants another one. This one is too lower. We're going to do this one in gold, if you don't mind. Too lower right there. Of course, we, we, we wish that Rob could be here for WrestleCon this year. We're missing out a lot of our UK people. I'm oh, sure yeah. you've missed those, those UK people and all that, oh, yeah, that wonderful, know. fantastic money they spend at the merch table. Oh, yeah, we're definitely missing out on We're that. missing you guys terribly right now. I'll but be missing you. We're also missing Matthew Wilson, but we're not missing your personalization right here. goes the bad boy for this one. This is for Matthew Wilson all the way up in Connecticut. Probably going to write bad boy a million times here today. So it might be the bad boy. It might be the bad boy. It might be I'm a bad boy. Uh, but you're doing bad boy again on this one in blue for Daniel Blotky. The Blot himself all the way in Houston, Texas. There you go. Forgot that as how to spell boy first. I was going to say, it looks like bad guy. Like, it wouldn't, I'm sitting next to Razor Ramon right now. Shit. I better mask up, because that's the thing. Riz Ramon, after everything he's done, he's just like he's very, very concerned about COVID. You know, he got mask well, up all the time. He's times. in that age range. That's what he said. He goes, he's in that age range. All right. You know, imagine <laughs> doing all those drugs, and being drinking to your liver almost shuts down, and then COVID takes you. You recover, and then COVID takes you. Fuck that. Bro. That's the way it works. That's the way life works. It gets you when you least expect it at all moments Shit. in time. People like that. It's like me too. It's like it doesn't even want to go into my system. Yeah. Because our insides are just green slime. Well, that's the thing, too. It's like I just took one of those uh, like those blood tests, and apparently I've had it. I oh. didn't even know it. And I've been tested for the last nine months, and apparently I had the antibodies. No clue. Well, you had it. I had it, but I've been the most tested person in the last ten days. I've had four COVID tests in the last ten days. Well, so, should I be wearing a mask or something? Yeah, you're good. You're good. You're, we're all good. Uh, this is Andy Duda. Just sign your name on this one for Andy Duda all the way up there in Cal Colorado. What? All right. It's for Sean, also in the UK. This we're back to the gold now. Um, message of your choice, whatever you want. You can put the bad boy, but to Sean though. To Sean. It's with a U, not with Sean, not like Shawn Michaels. Yeah, to Sean. What should I say to this one? You can put the bad boy. You can put whatever. You can say what up, mate, because he's from the UK. A stay. In school. <laughs> He's like, I'm a school teacher. Uh, I will try to stay in school as much as possible as I can stay employed. So, what if it, that'd be... He's a school teacher. You know, so I don't know. That's why, that's why I made it. I made it up. I, sometimes I make up alternate lives for all these people that, that like order from us at High Spots Auctions. I'm like, I bet this guy is like a good... Sean, like, Sean, hit me up on Twitter. Are you a teacher? Tell us your job. Yeah, what, are you, what is your job? What is your vocation, sir, over there in the UK? Tell how, us the job. How is it? How's the healthcare system over there? Uh, okay, this is uh, Ryan Carhoffel. Uh, to Ryan, the bad boy. You wearing the Dennis Rodman shirt in this one? Oh, yeah. This is from uh, the collective yeah. last year, which happened to be in October. Did you watch the last dance uh, documentary? Yes. Yes. I'm a, I'm a big Bulls fan. You and me both. I grew up three hours away from Chicago. So, like, Never been to a Bulls game. Ne neither have I. I was supposed to go to a Bulls game last year, before, actually before COVID, and then I lost my wallet. So. That blew it. After revolutionary, you I lose my wallet after every AEW pay per view. I don't know why. Listen, every time you lose your wallet, I just say uh, I pulled a Caleb Conley because that guy is losing his wallet all the time. I don't know. I think I had the record. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna challenge you on that, Caleb Conley. I can't tell you how many times we pull out of the high spot parking lot. And he's been, oh crap, I forgot my wallet. Or I forgot my keys. It's definitely a CTE thing. It's got, We're I, definitely mangled. Got, I, you may be a CTE thing. I just think he's stupid. I uh, <laughs> love you, Caleb. Uh, this is to Jeffrey. I love you too, Jeffrey. Uh, just to Jeffrey on that one. I said we're keeping personalizations open until 1 p.m. Guys, here's your chance. We're signing for ever. We're signing for Jeffrey right here. We're just signing for all the wonderful fans of the bad boy himself, especially, specifically, for uh, Catherine right here in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. Ooh. Uh, this is the blue on that one. Two. Two. This is uh, a Andrea uh, for this one. She's got two of them. I just saw. Them. 
And then this one is for Caitlin, right there in gold. That's why we got it highlighted for. We, we're trying to make this as easy on you as possible. CT is a real thing. I mean, you're already doing a better job than what Brutus the Barber Beefcake's going to be doing. So is he coming? He's supposed to be coming a little bit later on. Where's Enzo? Oh. Is he downstairs? No, we're supposed to do a private with him in the next room. Oh, let's get, let's, let's fight. Well, we got, why not? Let's finally do it. Let's finally, let's finally do it. Let's do it for free on Facebook Live. Why don't we just, why, why would we pay money for that? Okay, yeah. Yeah, let's do it for a while. Bring him in here right now. Let's fight. Right now. I need to, I need to. I need a wake to, up. You need to wake up? I need to wake up. I need to wake up. A little bit. Punch in the face will do no. it. But right now, I don't have a punch in the face, but I do have you to sign a picture for Matthew Grundy. Just your name on this one. Matthew Grundy, a, a PA fan. Probably saw you wrestle at the arena at some point in time. Probably see me somewhere. Somewhere. I got another gold one for you. This is Daniel Souza, but he wants it made out to, to Mike. Bad boys for life. Obviously, uh, we're here with Joey Janelle, not Will Smith or Martin Lawrence, even though we could be the new bad boys whenever they decide to reboot that franchise. What's the number four? Because he's cool. Because he's cool. And he four made it easy on life. you. For life, son. And the BO style, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, my neck All is right. killing me. This is just your signature right here. Hopefully your hand is not killing you, because we're, we're about halfway through the stack. Eight by tens oh, and a little signature. Now we're done. Before I could even get transitional material, you were done. All right, we got a blue ski on this. Also just your name. This one is for Raymond Pappas, all the way in Pennsylvania. A lot of Pennsylvania people. Yeah, you're big in Pennsylvania. Yeah, big, big in Pennsylvania. Big in Pennsylvania. Jersey guy, big in Jersey, Pennsylvania. Jersey, Pennsylvania. Oh, that whole area. This is for uh, Michelle, all the way in Germany. This is to Shelley. So Michelle prefers to be Shelley. That's why she wants it personalized to Shelley. We're in Germany. Does it say? Glizenkirk. I'm German, and that's as close as you're going to get, I, unless you've got a better way of saying it. Or is that uh, Schwernitzelstadt? Uh, that's another way to say it. Um, you, I'm having a hard enough time just speaking English this morning, and you want me to say German. I was in uh, Germany once for about 18 hours, that's it. 18 hours later? I've been there for like a whole week. Mm, just I 18 hours, I did a show and then left. Oh. Oh, really? You just did the show and all but peaced out? Yeah, I did. No, oh. how about that? WXW at least will put you up in a hotel. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, they this, this one is to Ryan. Uh, Ryan Watson, all the way in the UK. Another UK customer. We're fantastic UK customer. We always have Ryan. It's always a pleasure pulling your orders for Icebox Auction. Oh, we got a question here? Oh, he does have a question. A couple of people have a question. We finally hit our first question right here. Uh, how do you deal with the haters? Oh, all the best. I don't. I don't care. I troll them. Yeah, I mean, I'm you, a troll. Yeah, I go back. I no one, nothing really bothers me. People think I have thin skin because I come back at them, but I'm just having fun. Well, here's the thing with but you. But they said, "UK taking the piss." Yeah, T he takes the piss out of it. I all. take the piss. And you know what's great about you? Like I, I've known you for years. It, like you just come down with red, red Titus to PWX. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to mercilessly like well, give you the hardest fucking time. You guys destroyed me. But you took it in such great spirits. That's it. And, I, and, and because you took it so well, like seeing the success that you have, it makes me so happy. And now the fans do the same thing like yeah. you guys did. Yeah, exactly. Now, now it's like reverse. But the thing is, though, there's, not, there's nothing you, the fans, could say to this guy that we didn't already say to him at the High Spots house after PWX show at Grace Park Rec Center. There's no way. There is no way. This man is built Ford tough That's it. when it comes to haters and Most people call me jelly, but it's like if I want to get in shape, I could do it, but I don't feel like it. Why would you? You're a young man. You're if I'm going to get in shape, it's going to be for getting my nipples sucked on the beach. It's not going to be for wrestling fans. As soon as I get in shape, the wrestling fans are going to take credit for it. Like, we bullied them into yeah, yeah, getting yeah. abs. Yeah. Fuck that. I'm going to eat cheeseburgers. Yeah. And that, that's a, and Live it's, life. And that's the thing, too, with me. I got in shape, and I'm still wearing a singlet. Boy, the ribs on me. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm wearing a singlet now. Yeah. So... Not because, of, not because I'm fat. I'll let my jelly belly hang all day. It's because I was watching... 1993, WWF. Yeah, about, yeah. I binged on that for about a week. Yeah, there's a lot of singlets in 1993. A lot WWE, of, a lot of them. There's a lot of them. I'm rocking the Brett Scott Steiner yeah, hybrid. Deep, deep cut. 
deep cut, deep cut. So that way, if you do get that, days. if you get the top abs, which is not hard, you just do the crunch machine and Planet Fitness yeah. a little bit. You get enough of the abs right here. Singlet will okay. expose all of that. That's it. There's so. abs somewhere over there. All right, Franklin Myers. This is to Frank. I am a star. Dot dot man. Oh, great. Um, he does also have a question. He goes, "What's your favorite memory of Russell Pro?" Obviously, he's also a uh, Southampton, New Jersey fan. Oh, Russell Pro, um, or PWS? Because you said I'm a star, star man. Star man. Now we PWS got it. turned into Russell Pro. But my favorite match there was probably wrestling Ultimo Dragon oh. with his piece of shit manager, Sonny Ono. <laughs> Old Sonny Ono. And it, it breaks my heart that Sonny Ono is a, a fellow Iowan as myself. And he's such a POS that I uh, would like to disown him from the Hawkeye State. I would, for a while, yeah. it would have been nice to... Sonny Ono here? No. Oh, good. And I want to fight him, too. You want to fight him, too? Yeah, I'll fight him and Enzo at the same time. Now, he, he does know karate, so you're going to have to watch over them kicks. So. He gave me a kick, but then I then I stiffed him. You stiffed then, him? Yeah, I, I gave a concussion on oh. purpose. So I'm reckless. That's what I do. But the, but, he, but the glasses stay on. Because I think he's a little, he's, he's always very similar to Mr. Hughes. Those glasses always he stay on. He said, oh, yeah, I think, I think the glasses flew off. But then afterward, he's like, oh, you gave me a concussion, I think. But here's this Ponzi scheme. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Yeah. Oh, that's a guy. I mean, he's a salesman. He is a salesman. Oh, yeah, salesman. But a man who's not a salesman but a big fan of yours is Brian Linder from McHenry, Illinois. Uh, he would like uh, to Lord Byron. Um, he's a statement, and he just wanted to make the use of his, uh, you are brilliant. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Lord Byron. So, like I said, we have a couple statements, a couple questions. People just, people love you, Joey. Does, does it ever, like, blow you away, like, the amount of people that just, like, really dig your stuff? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on anymore. We gotta accept that love. Totally Joe. crazy. You gotta accept that love. Trust me. If I've learned anything from the therapy that I've had for the last year, you gotta self. -love. I accept it. I accept it. Accept it. Accept that love. I accept it. And accept this next signed picture from Brianna from Mooresville, Indiana. She would like to Brianna the bad boy would be the personalization that she has. Also, another great statement. She wants to say thank you for making me a wrestling fan again. Jesus, just me. Yeah, you. Oh, wow. You made, made this person a, a fan again. Thank and you, Brianna. It, That's so nice. And being in Mooresville, uh, Indiana, I mean, I'm sure you're not seeing any rotten shows anymore. And I'm pretty sure that's why you stopped being a wrestling fan. I mean, you can only see April Blood showers so many times before you're like, you it's know what? because Nate Webb left. Uh, yeah, when he exactly. Left, she became, oh, stopped being a wrestling fan. Nate Webb, like, people are so underrated. Like, that entrance. Well, still. Yeah, the, yeah. The, still like, can go. Teenage Dirtbag. Best. Oh, like that. Like, we had we display him out to the ring. Yeah, incredible. Like, and he's that's great, full circle. Great, great dude. Awesome. I lured him. I'm the one that lured him out of retirement. So, if it wasn't for me, he wouldn't be back right now. Well, thank you for making me a wrestling fan again. For bringing Nate Webb back into that's the wrestling it. world. That's it. The world is a better place. At least the indie wrestling world is a better place with Nate Webb. The reason wrestling exists right now is because of me. Very right here. This if guy. I didn't do Spring Break one, there'd be no AEW. Yeah. There'd be no uh, TNA anymore. I don't know why. It's, it's in just... back now. There's definitely no <laughs> TNA anymore. There's a whole legal thing about it. Whatever. Uh, but not whatever. To Taylor Wheeler from a Wisconsin to Damon the Bad Boy would be what he wants right there. Almost done with these 8 by 10s and we'll transition over into figures. You're burning through this. Yeah, burning through. So, just trying to get through to maybe and get on this one. Kylie, uh, this is uh, 2K. It's Kaylee, excuse me. That's why she probably calls herself K. Names are tough for me right thank now. Thank you, bad boy. Yes, and she always want to say thank you, bad boy. Very thank polite fans thank for you. such a bad Bad, bad boy. All right, so the personalizations are still open for another half an hour. So, guys, go ahead and get your personalizations in right now at highspotsauctions.com. The reason why it's open still one is because Josh isn't even in the room right now uh, to pull those personalizations right now. Uh, but Dan's got me got me covered on everything right now. So we'll get over to the figures here very shortly. Oh. But, but just take a little break. Take My neck break. is rotten right now. Isn't it rotten right now? It's My not... neck is like, I feel like fucking Eve rotten right now. 
Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready to give a big like twenty minute speech between each one of the matches now? Maybe. I mean, if you want to give a 20-minute speech right now between, like, the, the, the segments of the show, you've signed all the 8 by 10s that came in pre-show. So if you want to give a big speech about how hard everybody's working and how these kids really killed it, blah, 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 blah. and just make the show four hours long. Um, just want to thank everyone <laughs> for coming out this weekend. You know, we had a long year. A lot of people, they got sick. Some people did it. We had to wear masks. Not, not Austin Aries. <laughs> he, no. didn't, he, he didn't even wear a mask. He gone. Loki didn't either. No. But the responsible ones did. Uh, masks, you know, they kind of sucked. And we had nice masks. We had masks with like Mickey Mouse on them. Um, some got maybe. Um, Picture of Darby Allen's face on half your mask. It became kind of fashionable. But in Japan, they've been wearing masks for years. Uh, a lot of people got fat. Uh, no gyms. Lots of eating. Fast food. Um, lots of drinking alcohol in your closet. Um, hiding from your abusive uh, uncle. <laughs> um, it's just been one hell of a year, but we got through it, guys. Uh, we're on a 18-person bicycle right now, 18 people, and we're just like the beginning of Pee-wee's Big Adventure. We're riding to the finish line, but on an 18-person bicycle, maybe more people. Um, we we you know. I stopped using condoms. Um, probably uh, bad for my health, but it is what it is. It's funner that way. Uh, but I want you guys to wrap it up. Wear a mask. Uh, I wonder if Austin Aries wears a condom. Probably not. No. Um, yeah. Uh, we're just uh, hanging in there. We're we're skydiving out of a plane. We got uh, a plane, and then I'm gonna skydive right into a helicopter, and then we're gonna land the helicopter on the finish line. And uh, at the finish line, Tony At Tony Atlas is gonna be there. He's gonna be dancing. He's gonna be there with a uh, carton of cigarettes for me. Uh, Austin Aries, uh vegan recipe book. And uh, Enzo Amore, a pair of boxing gloves, which is going to happen in the other room. I'm not going to run away this time. I ran away because, you know, it's just, I had to, I had to run away from the $10,000 fine I would have got if I got arrested. But we all got through it. I wonder if Flip Gordon's doing all right. Still think the earth's flat. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Is it flat? Who knows? I don't know. I haven't talked to him. Maybe I should go on 8chan and find him. Does it still exist? I don't know. But, yep. That's the year. Now it's 2021. Time to have some fun in the sun uh, with some buns. Fantastic State of the Union address by this generation's Ian Rotley. Give him all a clap, everybody. State of Wrestling, Joey Janela, nailing again. Your promo, God. That will probably end up on YouTube on like Pro Wrestling Rarities or some shit. Probably right there. You ever there. see that account? No, I haven't. It's the best YouTube account ever. Oh, yeah. they, found, they find rare wrestling clips and like weird shit they just posted okay. and matches. Old indie matches. Well, then I've, I've got something to post on there. I have a clip of Tanya Harding walked in the ring with Eddie Guerrero in our bar. Well, it might be on there, to be honest. It might be. might be. I put it on Twitter. Oh, for, don't forget. Pro Wrestling Rarities. I don't know who runs that. Whoever runs that, send me a DM. Yeah, let me know. I, I've got, I think I've got like the Midnight Express like on MTV. That's what we do in the AEW locker room. We have a big TV. We just watch old yeah. indie matches. Of course. 
That's it. That's what we do. But what we're going to do here is, uh, you want to give me a hand with these, these figures, like passing them over at a time. Uh, we also have a couple of uh, 8x10s with them. As a reminder, i got to go over to High Spots Auctions. Dot com if you want any personalizations. They're going to close off here in about a half an hour or whenever Joshua gets back. Right now he's on the floor right now, but Warren, go ahead and give me. We're going to do these figures, and we do these figures in pig pink if you don't mind, and we're, and we're just signing them. Let me double check to make sure I'm handing you a properly ready-to-go paint pen right there. We're going to do it. What do you think I should do here or there? And, we, and go ahead and inscribe it as well. Put uh, the bad boy on there, Joe and Janelle. What do you think, on the front? Or? Yeah, right, right on the front right yeah, here. That's right. where everybody's, uh, everybody's been doing it. So. The bad boy, right? Okay, I have, I, have, I have a statement to make. You have a statement Rocky to make. Rocky Romero's been found. Okay. He is going to be on camera at 2 o'clock right after Joey goes off. Okay, cool. <laughs> cool. What? We had an issue. Rocky, Rocky no-showed his appearance this morning. <laughs> so I appreciate you showing up. So. He, apparently, Dallas Davis is going to get killed by his wife. Then they found him. <laughs> what do you mean? Something happened last night during their lives. All right. This one is for Scott Caldwell. Go ahead and put the bad boy. We're going to put bad boy in all of them. Joey Janela. So that it's signed and inscribed. These figures actually look really good. What would you think of them? Some people are so-so on this them. This one looks good. This one looks good? Other ones, I don't know. Yeah. I. Other like, ones are like, eh. Like, I would kill for an FTC. I would I would kill for a man has got FCD. But, but it took like three years. But those guys are cool. Yeah. They did good on me. Yeah. Like I like the detail. It, like they actually like you know they detailed the, oh, the sound. I made jacket. sure it was good. Yeah, it's very good. Once again, bad boy in all of them. This one is for Eric Theory, Ankeny, Iowa. We're just dying for Adventureland to open up if it isn't already. Oh, he's going to be running high spots soon, so especially when I quit. Um, this is uh, uh, Nathan, all the way from Pennsylvania. Bad boy on this one as well. You get paid this weekend? No. No? He's not He He did his schoolwork and then hurry up to get back to work. So... This one is for Ryan Supple, all the way in Humble, Texas. Um, he do has a question, and this could take take a while. Uh, he goes, "How do you top the bump with Zandig?" You don't. You don't. Yeah. Uh, I've tried to. I've done every bump now to the You've point. You've tried to. What, what, what were the what were the things that you tried? To I think the do? match I came back from that, I hung from the rafters on the rush and fell off the roof and then dropped an elbow and fell into ladders. That was pretty wild. You just don't. Yeah. But I've done every. I think I've done every big bump you could possibly do in wrestling. Uh, and what what's That's why my neck feels like this. What what started all this? Because like you know like you you go through these like when I first met you you were concerned about being like a wrestler's wrestler. And then all of a sudden you went through this like car crash wrestling and just to the point like I was, I was seriously concerned about you and I was hoping everything was okay. Uh, you were getting traction with all of that. And then like when I booked you for $5 wrestling, it's like you were in this phase like I want to prove to everybody that I'm so good that I have a great match with Chef Hart, which you did undoubtedly. I've been doing that one for years. It was like wrestling Marty Jannetty twice. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeff Hart is, is in there. Uh, Scott Norton. Mm-hmm. Ricky Moore and he can wrestle Broom and have a good match with the Broom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and yeah. him together was just magic. Yeah. But it's like no matter who it, who it is, I could have a good match with him. Yeah, hands down. But for some reason, I don't know, the internet thinks I'm the worst wrestler ever. No, like, like you're definitely not. Like you get, you get these wild hairs of people. You want to prove how good of a wrestler you That's are. That's it. And, and I, always, I don't know. Who should I wrestle next? I don't know. I don't know. Who is on your, who's on your bucket list? I don't, I don't know. I've wrestled everyone. Yeah. Have you wrestled Jerry the King Lawler yet? Because that, because if, if you think Ricky Morton was easy, Cherry Lawler, it's it's well, a walk. Cherry Lawler's not going to give me a Canadian destroyer, so. But he's going to give you the pile driver, though. I'll think about it. Think about it. it, it trust me, it's going to be the most fun and the easiest match you'll ever have. In I'll your do a tag match. Okay. There's Cherry Lawler and Onita. Cherry Lawler and Onita. It's right. me and Sunny Kiss, an exploding barbed wire match. And how awesome is it to be around Sunny Kiss as, as much as you are? The best. The you best. Have Sunny, is Sunny Kiss here? Uh, I, I don't know. I think so. But like, I, I, I Sunny Kiss was there last night. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, he, like, Sunny, 
the most positive person like oh, I've, yeah. I've ever been. I like just being around him like like earlier this week for five minutes. It made the rest of my day so much better. Oh, Sunny Kiss is the best. Yeah, the best. You couldn't. You couldn't get to be a better tag partner than Sunny Brown. For, hands down. Uh, Good year. Very good year. Noel, we, he's already given the, the State of the Union address for this year. But right now, let's move on with more figures. This is one for Joseph Kersey. We're going to do a bad boy on this one as well. Okay, very, you know how to work these paint pens. These paint pens can be a little tricky. So yeah, 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 you're doing a good job with it. Got another one, also bad boy on this one. Uh, this is for James. Thompson, all the way in the UK. How, how you doing today, mate? So. Right. There is that. And this one right here, Joseph Lanza on this figure right here. I think oh, I know a Joseph Lanza. He's in New Jersey. Joe Lanza. Is that his home address? I don't even know where Pecanock, New Jersey is. New Jersey, you got some weird names like Matuchin. Doesn't look like Matuchin at all. Like yeah, yeah. Oh, Matuchin's by me. Yeah. Oh my old area. But I don't know where that is. Yeah. So probably somewhere, probably town in like Northwest Jersey or some shit. Probably. Right. In the woods. John Fox, Hermitage, Tennessee. Air Fox cousin? Yes, Air Fox cousin. It's, and also Steve Fox, also Air Fox cousin. What is Air Fox up to these days? I seen him benching the other day. Working That's all I know. He's, he's doing bench press. Like, you'll see something every once in a while. I miss seeing him. Hopefully he's doing all right. I hope so, too. I, I, I miss seeing him on a regular basis at Revolver. So, I miss that. All right, this one is for Trey K. Galveston, Texas. We are doing Mark Martinez, also from uh, Texas as well, but Victoria, Texas. He's probably you know next door neighbors with Stone Cold Steve Austin there in Victoria, Texas. You know, and that's, that's all I know about Victoria, Texas. Is Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yes, yes. Uh, Great Austin. But, uh, oh, we got some more figures over here. Very popular guy. Like I said, I'm a big fan of these FTC figures. And you said you had some input on how the, the jacket looks, right? Is what you like to think? I, I made sure this was a good. Uh, when, when they send you the prototype of it, like, like I did, the prototype is awesome. I was like, all right. The yeah. thing is, I made them put the glasses on me, like yeah. old school, like a Hasbro. Yeah. Like a lot of the Hasbros had the had the glasses and the control arms, if you will. So and I was like, I think it looks like me. Yeah, it de it definitely looks like you. And like like I said, like, I, I love the details, just even the little awesome. the little zipper of the jacket. It's always real nice. And you unzip the jacket. You got a, you got a little surprise there. I got a whole. I'm lit up. Mm -hmm. Big like, pecs, nice abs. Fantastic. Big They're, quads right there. Too. Yeah, they, just, they just took Brian Cage's body and they just put your head on it. So I think it's probably the same body they used for Brock Lesnar. Yeah. In uh, okay. 2003. Yeah, well, were you a figure guy at all? Like, oh, yeah. I know you're into Hasbro's now. I have everything. Yeah. My figure collection is probably 35K. What's your favorite line of figures? Hasbro's for sure. The Hasbro's for oh, sure. Yeah, yeah the old Has Hasbro's. I really just got them all. Yeah, you just just got a uh, card or on on card. I have them all loose, okay. but uh, I have probably half on card too. Okay. Not mint. Yeah. But uh, some are. Yeah. I have a soft spot for like those bone crunchers, like that first line of Jacks. Uh, Alex Zane. I see the Alex Zane. Yeah, exactly. The Alex Zane, like with Alex Zane, like I kind of got, I got a soft spot. I've seen spot. him wandering around here with a basketball bone crunchers. Yeah. I'm also a big fan of the classics, mostly because when I first started working at High Spots, those classic figures yeah. that Jacks had, those were like a big part of our business when I first came to High Spots. And it was always exciting because we would get those shipments early. But we couldn't ship them out until a particular. Like we had ship dates on stuff, much like the WWE yes, DVDs, yes. and seeing, like, hearing, like, oh, well, the Road Warriors in this line, or oh, they got an oh, Eddie yeah. Guerrero, and then seeing it up close and That's looking sick. at it, or like, like a flare with the big robe, and just like, or Harley Race with the Starcade robe. Like, it was always exciting to see that figure firsthand before everybody else. You know, it's like, well, you're not the department. You know? 
But we got your toy sign, Adrian Gallup, another UK customer. Always a pleasure and a joy. I think I you're broken, to be honest. And I appreciate you powering through, uh, especially for Jason Rubin. He appreciates it as well. No, I'm good, to be honest. I'm good. Oh, God. It's cool, though. It's actually cool. It made the tea look real cool. Yeah, and also... It ooh, dripped. I don't dripped know. Out. A little hey, dripper. Well, why don't you also put, like, 2J on this one, just for, just for J. Right there, just 2J-A-Y. Why did it drip like that? It's getting a little overloaded. We, we, you had, we, we, we were talking in between here. And these paint pens are very finicky. A little drip trip. A little drip trip. Uh, Jeremiro for this one. Just put bad boy on this one. As a reminder, guys, we got about 15 more minutes before we shut off personalizations for Joey. We'll get some more 8x10s out here to sign pretty soon. But right now we're getting through the figures. Josh Russell uh, for this one all the way in Washington, the Pacific Northwest. You ever wrestled up there, Pacific Northwest? Seattle. Seattle. That's the only place to wrestle up there. Never I, was, port I was over in Seattle. Oh, yeah. I know we were supposed to before COVID. GCW is supposed to do a show in Portland. Yeah. yeah. Shut down. We'll be back. Yeah, Port, of course, we'll be back in Seattle. It's a pretty awesome place. Yeah, it pretty much is. Portland, I'm about one for three in good times in Portland. I've had, I've had like two really bad times in Portland, but, you know. Regardless of all that, Big Bob sat on Bad Boy on this figure right here. What am I writing on this one? Just, uh, just Bad Boy. Bad Boy. Yeah. I confused you there because this is customer uh, Big Bob. Big Missouri. Bob, baby. Big Bobaloo. Right there, does that do it for the figures right here? Yeah, well, we'll get to that in a second. Okay, I, we'll got one, I got one more figure that just came in. Uh, Bobby Hawkins, if you just want to go ahead and do that for me. Oh, Bobby, Bobby Hawkins. Bobby Hawkins. There you go. Pull, pull oh, you got all box of my figures. Uh, yeah. We bought two cases. We bought two cases of figures. So, so we got about 15 more minutes. Go ahead and sign just Joe Janelle, bad boy, on that one. And you've got it easy, man. you got you got the two J's. Like, it's, the it's, it's, it's the easiest. It's the easiest. I wanted to make it easy. Yeah, and, and some and, of these people have ridiculous signatures. Yeah, hey, go ahead and grab that for me if you don't mind. Put that down. But like, yeah, like some of these guys have some ridiculous signatures. Like you've seen Ricky Steamboat before. Mm. Like that nice penmanship that he has. It really takes his time drawing it all out. And uh, but then you get someone like Jericho. He's got it down to a science. Oh, yeah. He's got that C and that big J, and I'm sure with AEW, you're sending, like, a lot of trading cards. Yeah, some of my signatures we are weird. Like, some of them don't look like that sometimes. I'm yeah. signing a lot. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if they'll be able to authenticate my signature. What's the, what's the weirdest thing you've signed? Oh, weirdest thing? Yeah, what's the weirdest thing? White Claws are pretty weird. People haven't signed White Claws. I don't yeah. know why. Well, you, you were making them popular. I was, but they, didn't, but they didn't sponsor me, so. Yeah. What is with it? Still drink them, but whatever. No, it's not. You'd be sweet if you tried like the Bud Light, like the Bud Light one and the uh, Trulies. Ah, the Trulies are right. Some of the truly lemonades are right. Mm -hmm. White Claws are still the top tier. Top tier. Yeah. Well, what makes them? What, what is it like? What, what makes them so special? They're just low in calories, I guess. Yeah. Well, but all of them. I'm drinking. Yeah, yeah. Compared to a craft beer. I don't know. Yeah, it's like it's like a craft beer. It's like like drinking a whole loaf of bread. Yes, I love craft beer though. What, I'm your, back. I'm back on beer now. What, what, what's your favorite? IPAs, lagers. What What are you into beer wise? Oh, I like sours. Sours. Uh, yeah, and uh, I like sours, and I like 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 craft beers. Sometimes spicy beers, pretty good. I got. I next time you're in Charlotte, I gotta take or I gotta get you some of uh, Birdsong Brewery. They have a jalapeno pale ale. Just absolutely great. I love that. Yeah, yeah. I love anything spicy. I like spicy. I like spicy margaritas. Mm -hmm. Spicy beer. Oh, it's just great. Yeah, there's a there's a really great brewery that I, I do comedy shows at, uh, uh, Cabarrus County Cabarrus Brewing Company, and they have like a coffee plant not far away. So they like if you drive by it at a certain time of day, you'll smell like like coffee beans like really strong in the air. Well, they got beans from that plant, which is just up the road. And they have like this blonde vanilla coffee beer mm. 
it's really light and it's just the vanilla and the coffee is all mixed in there just nice it's just a really good beer i don't drink crap beer too often i probably drink it maybe like twice a month now because mm-hmm. i'm i can't i can't afford to get any more yeah, I, I gotta have I gotta have one. Like, but today I, I might have I might indulge because I did a good job yesterday. There so. you go. That's what you do. You gotta indulge a little bit. And see, I don't I don't drink so that much anymore. But I have to like, I have this deep I have the, I have the demon inside of me. So oh. I, I gotta have like a beer or two every once in a while to kind of release the pressure. I'm like, still so, I'm a disaster. Yeah. So. I'm I'm on the verge. Uh, maybe two more years then born again Christian. Oh really? You're going straight to that. Usually, that's the third incarnation. No, no, no. You, you gotta because yeah, there's 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 theories about this, and I have a theory about this, and see so you can confirm this or not. It's usually with this with wrestlers, is you start off real good and you get that quality, like usually that first relationship, the woman that's gonna take care of you, the woman that's gonna be the mother of your kids, and you have a good relationship with them, and then you ascend. And she's there for you for everything. She pays for your gym membership. She pays for your, your tanning membership. All that stuff. She takes care of you. She takes care of everything. You start climbing. The road starts eating you alive. It starts eating you alive, destroying you. The vices get worse. And you get to a point you get almost, like, just before your highest point, And that relationship starts to fall apart. And then there's conflict. But then that makes you a better artist. And that breaks you through. Then you break through. You're making all this money. And then it's good because you're happy. But then, 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 you, get, but then you get a divorce. You get a divorce. You get a new wife for about... Four months. Yeah, and that four month wife, then, she will mess you up. That's the woman that you're gonna get a mug shot with. Yes, yes, that's the mug shot yeah, wife. Yeah. And then after that, you're like, fuck it. Born again, somebody, Christian. You go to church on Sunday and you meet this girl. And you're like, oh shit. Yeah. And then you have kids with her the next week. Yep. And then you're a born again Christian. Yeah. You don't believe in Halloween anymore. It's it's you become like strict on it, and then you get like really weird. Like, oh, I don't think women should be having wrestling matches. You know, like Ivan Koloff. And the other day, I was talking to Sting. I said "fuck" in front of him, and I was like, uh, "Shit." <laughs> oh, shit. He didn't look at me any differently, but I was like, "Shit." Yeah. This guy's like, loves God. Yeah. This guy loves God and just dropped an F bomb in front of him. Did you ever see that like documentary that he did about him finding faith in the Lord? It's a weird one. You should ch- you should check out this DVD of it out there. I, I have don't, to check it out. You're gonna have it's like a uh, staying moment of truth. I did. I've heard of it. Yeah, it's 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 weird. Sting is probably the most badass dude ever. So. Oh yeah, what, what, what makes it like? Uh, I mean, other than what we've seen on screen, have you seen a moment off camera? Where you're like, man, yeah, that's I a just cool think. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He watched my match with Darby. Cause he's like Darby's mentor. Yeah. Like, that was so much fun. <laughs> well, okay, cool. Cool. You use the word stinger. F- stinger. You use the word fun. <laughs> Surprising. <laughs> oh yeah. But uh, all right, like so, we got about ten more minutes before we shut off personalizations. Right now, we've got a couple of them that have come in so far. Um, right now, we have one actually, uh, Carlos. From Valley Stream, New York, uh, he would like uh, the good boy Joey Gentel uh, for the uh, Jeff Hart fame. Obviously, also Carlos would like to say good luck, Joey, and thank you. Yeah, what do you think of that Jeff Hart promo? It was ridiculous. I know, he's insane. Remember that day I showed up? My guy, we're gonna do this. I started running drills with him before the yeah. Like hit the ropes. It worked. Mm-hmm. I I don't know how you made it work as long as you did. Like I, I I like, I'm gonna be honest. As the promoter, I can say this now because I got what I got from you. Um, I would have been happy with like an eight to ten minute match, but you were you put in a the main event, match. thirty minute match with Jeff, with Jeff Hart, and I gotta tell you, Jeff Hart is. Man, I say this with all the love I possibly can. The worst person I've ever been in the ring with. And think about all the people that I've been in the ring with for, for a multitude of years. Worst person I've ever been in the ring with. He's the only person I've ever been uh, in a hammerlock with, and uh, and I tried to reverse it, and I couldn't. Oh I couldn't even. And then, then when I had him in a hammerlock, he didn't know how to reverse it either. Like, I've never seen anybody not know how to reverse a hammerlock that owned a pair of boots. He remembered the whole match I gave him. It was pretty, it was pretty well. Probably is the best. If you haven't seen it, go to High Spots Network. Go to five dollar wrestling. Yeah. What's the name of the show? Uh, Carolina Stampede. Because I basically like ripped off the Calgary Stampede. Yes, yes. Carolina Stampede. Yeah. Me and Jeff Hart. If you haven't seen it, I showed it. Sometimes we get a bunch of wrestlers together. We're 
travel in the cities, we get an Airbnb, and I put it on. Mm -hmm. So watch this. They don't know what they're about to get. Most they don't know who Jeff Hart is. Yeah. They're like, what the fuck is this? And you're just enthralled by it. But I, but I also have to say this, too, and, and I'm embarrassed to kind of say this. I've never seen the match in its entirety. Uh, I was so upset because with the live stream failed so poorly. Oh. And I feel like I, I let a lot of people down. And I feel like I don't deserve that that glorious thing to exist in my brain because I let the fans down of $5 wrestling. So, let them down so poorly. It wasn't your fault. It was a lightning storm. Yeah, but at the same time, too, uh, I... I told people I was going to deliver, but I still have not seen that, that Matt Classic in its entirety. Oh, you gotta watch it. Uh, one day I'll get over it. One of these I'll get over it. But right now, we need to get on to another uh, signed figure. This is for Trevor Gus. Uh, got this one right here. Let me prime this one for you. Good to go. Just put Joey Janela bad boy on this one. And give people about five more minutes to get your personalizations in now. We're gonna close it off. What does that um, mean? Basically, like the stuff right here, it, people might probably have gone over high spots auctions and bought some more. Give give some people another gasp at, at buying some more. So we'll kind of okay. lay out here for uh, uh, just a minute or two right now. But so uh, this is what's kind of come in so far. So we we'll just give normally we cut it off half an hour, but you know we want to make people. Everybody's just waking up, just like you're waking up right now as as we speak. Yeah. So I had a little wild night last yeah. night. Yeah. Yeah. So we've only, we've got and also too as, as a reminder, guys. We do have plenty of turnbuckle pads available. We always save those for the end, so we do have more turnbuckle pads available, but we're gonna be shutting that off in about five minutes. So go ahead, get your personalization, buy these turnbuckle pads at highspotsauctions.com. And that's your last gas opportunity duty right here. Once they're gone, they're gone. I'm surprised we even had enough. Who packs in the lineup? Uh, Brutus Bar Beefcake. Oh, fuck. So this, you're gonna see this pink paint pad. What time is he going on? Uh, I believe four. Oh, damn, that's too late. Yeah. I was going to hide under the table the whole time and then rip him. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. Imagine him sitting here. You get a bigger curtain. I go underneath the table. He sits here. I'm under here. After, I just pop up. Surprise, you get, Listen. <laughs> listen, you, you can't do that to him. because he's. He, you see how he looks now. Yeah, you, no. you mean to tell me that his heart would withstand that? We'll have to... We'll have to see. We'll have to see. You can't. Like, we, we'll, we, have see. we'll have to see. Well, we have if to see. If he dies, he dies. Okay, Ivan Drago. <laughs> if, uh, if it dies, it dies. <laughs> if you can't take a good-hearted red Brutus and you die, hey, that's on you. I mean, you can barely take a parasailing <laughs> accent to the face. You like... You die. It's on you. It's, it's on, on, you. on you. On you, Brutus. I mean, that's, 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 Joey's, that's Joey's motto of life. So... I don't, want to, I, don't, I don't want to waste your time too much. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the turnbuckles. Let's go ahead and do the turnbuckle yeah. pads, and we'll circle yeah. back if we need to. And by that time, we'll get all the personal This turnbuckle we fad is weird. Isn't it? Like it's, you it's, guys invented that, though. I mean, we, we make turnbuckle pads, so that's kind of, <laughs> kind of a thing. It's just weird. I don't, I don't, I don't know. So, all right, well, uh, this person also got not only a turnbuckle pad, but also we got, got a, a figure. Oh, oh very nice. A figure and also an 8x10. So, just Joe Janela, bad boy on that one. And, of course, let's get that gold Sharpie out as I take that from you. Get that gold Sharpie out for this one. This will be to Nick Janela Zone for Life. Is that a question or a personal That's item? That's a personal question right there. And then this one is to Nick the Bad Boy. All right, so that's there. And now we're going to get out this. Oh, the two. Bad Boy, sorry. Oh, the Bad Boy, yes. Good catch. All right, now let's go ahead and put uh, George and all the Bad Boy. I got, I got you right here in pink. Give that a go. There you go. All right. Here is the rest of this right here. That's the rest of that door. Now we're going to get to another uh, figure. Just sign uh, 
Joey Janelle, the bad boy. This is for John, uh, also in the Pacific Northwest of Washington. Oh yeah, this is this is the guy who dresses up as me. Yes, he says future Joey says what's up. Yeah, that's what he calls himself, future Joey. Future Joey. He gets like custom like. He's a good dude. When I go to Seattle. That's your guy. Me out. Yeah. That's your guy. He dresses up as me. You have I mean, to. yeah, you have to. He's a good the, dude. What's the deal with this this Donnie Janella in Alabama? He, it's my cousin. Shoot cousin. We found out it was. It was. You did the DNA test and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Cody Rhodes ran a test. He said you look like Joey. Then we ran. We were cousins. Don Don Janella. What, 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 wouldn't have guessed. You have you have kin in Alabama. He's over too. He's over in South. Yeah, he's getting a lot of bookings, and I was kind of, when I first saw it, I was kind of getting hot for you. So I'm glad that you've checked off on it, and we've, we've cleared that up that you've given the okay. Oh yeah. For for Donnie, he's Kung, a good dude. He's, he's also Kung Fu Janela as well. Yeah, hard working. Why the Kung Fu? Is he a Kung he's Fu a, master? He's a karate master. I don't know. A karate is is he is he also kin to Ernest the Cat Miller? Uh, I think he's trained with him in his dojo as a child. Okay. Him, him and Gary Bischoff. Yeah, I think he used to mop. Uh, the floors of Ernest Cat Miller's dojo, and then Ernest is like, I see something in you. You're trying to be a karate, and then he found out he was my cousin. Okay. Well, all the things we find out here on Sign Alive. All right, this one this is right here. Sign that one, Joey Janela, bad boy. On this one, this is for Steven. Did these New Jersey. did these signings? Only start because of COVID doing the video signings, or would, were people doing these before? Uh, no, this started because of COVID. Like, so I think it's gonna. I think so. You think after COVID, it's gonna continue these? I don't know. See, here's it. Here, all right. You want, I think you want some theories? Let's let's talk. Let's talk. Right. Let's talk shop about pro wrestling because okay. you and I are very similar. You and I try to figure out where the trends are at. This is this is how I feel about it, and I felt about this with COVID. What's happening with COVID is very similar to what happened when the financial crisis came up. And the, the news was always saying, uh, like, the, the economy's bad, economy's bad, economy's bad. That trickles into independent wrestling, and then everybody stopped spending money at independent wrestling shows. Because before that, before the economic crisis, $20 was disposable income. As soon as that happened, you couldn't get $5 out of people. That's why I started $5 Wrestling, because $5 <laughs> was disposable income at that time. But, like, after a year of hearing the economy's bad, economy's bad, it, was until, it wasn't until 2015 that, you know, people stopped saying, well, you know, I'd love to buy that $20 T-shirt, but, you know, the economy's bad. I'm like, actually, it's back to where it was before, and we're doing better than we were before. But people's psyche, that hung over them, like, we're, especially working class people, that, that psyche is hanging over them for so long and then all of a sudden, people started selling T-shirts again. Yeah, guys were charging twenty-five dollars for a T-shirt, which was, blow, was blowing my mind. And now with this happening, I think what's going to end up happening is similar to that: like, don't go out, don't go out, don't interact with people. That's going to hang over our head for another year, two or three years. I, th I think I think you guys could keep on doing these. Studies. Oh yes, I After think. After flying guys out, yeah, to do the thing on Thursday, mm -hmm. still a random signing, digital signing. I think you guys will have that market cornered. Yeah, we're still doing this. And also, to you, another thing you have to keep in mind with this, we are serving a multitude of different customers. Right now, we've served a bunch of you that have already got your personalization. Josh is going to print that off very soon. Very um, and we are good. We're closed out on yeah, personalization. Closed. Yeah. We're closed. So he's going to get me a handful of those, and we're going to wrap the, those up and finish those up that have just come in. And as soon as we finish those, then we can let you go. So right, everybody got those in. But like, I think we're going to be doing this for quite some time. I think this is going to be what this... Is going to be like for the next two or three years. I don't. I don't think this is going away anytime soon. Because I think a lot of people are still, uh, you know, cautious when it comes to yes. going out. Yes. I, I think. I think. But I think streaming of live shows is going to be important. But we're going to have enough people in the building that those shows are going to look a lot better as opposed to twenty people socially distanced in a, in, a, in a place. I yes. think, and I think you're going to you're going to be able to run some smaller arenas. A lot of arenas that are hurting, we're going to get better deals. And I think slowly over surely, I think it's, it could be a five year process before we get back to a place that you know we're we're looking the way we used to. But I think this is going to be around for two or three years. Yeah. All right. Who's All right. Your... so uh, we have a couple orders come in. Two okay. or three orders that came in, and, and we're having once again. I'm going to say this. Printer issues. Whole heart. We're having some printer issues. Okay. So, <laughs> So we're going to try to get that figured out. If you just want to do uh, about five more, five, I think we're good. Five more. Turnbuckles. Five more turnbuckle pads. Go ahead and just say, you know, it goes Joey Janela, bad boy on there. 
I don't even think we advertise an inscription, but we're going to go ahead and throw an inscription in there. How about that, guys? you got to be careful with those paint pens. Sometimes you need to press a little bit lighter. Yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. you need to press a little bit harder on this one. So we're having some printer issues, but we're making sure that everything gets signed that will get signed. Actually, if you want, you want us to just sign all the turbo pads that we're sitting yeah, here. We're gonna, we're just gonna knock all these out right here on camera. So if you bought a turbo pad in the last couple of minutes or so, we're gonna knock it out here right now for you. All right, now keep running them through. Thank you. Bring them in. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, with this turnbuckle pad, we just printed onto t-shirts, then cut this out and then sewed this on the turnbuckle pad because wow. we are so behind on turnbuckle pads in the back. Like we had to make so many turnbuckle pads for this weekend that luckily we had the transfers for your t-shirts. So we just put those on a t-shirt, cut that out, and then sewed it right on a turnbuckle pad. You did pad. our turnbuckle pads for the show last night, right? All, yeah, yeah. All, all, the yeah. all the GCW turnbuckle pads are done through highspots.com. All the AEW turnbuckle pads. Um, we even do WWE, NXT. We've done uh, Impact. A multitude of different turnbuckle pads. Remember the little feud between Brett and Michael for two months? There was a feud? That wasn't really a feud. It's when I think Michael, you guys are doing like uh, CCW stuff, and Brett did the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, who's this idiot? <laughs> well, that's the thing. My, my, Michael didn't know Brett, but like now and they my, talked out, and they were like, they talked out. Well, because Brett's a businessman. Yeah. You know, Brett. Brett does good business. I mean, that's it. He's definitely no DJ Hyde, and that's a compliment. Like, <laughs> I think you realize that after talking to him for about thirty seconds yeah. that he's no DJ Hyde. Yeah. So. Yeah. Is He's DJ not, Hyde here? No, no. no. Oh. Hey, I, when I first started working for Michael, I thought he was DJ Is there a CZW table somewhere here? No, I, I, no. I highly doubt it. Someone sent me a tweet or something. Maybe, I don't know. Check out the CZW. Maybe that was... People are trolling you, Joey. Don't you know this by I think now? Brett said that to me. I don't know. People are trying to troll you. It's, it's always Brett. It's a Brett. fucking troll. What do you think is the, the recipe for success with Brett? Like, I feel like he's... What he's been able to do the last He's always hopped years. around. He's always been a little fuck. He, he went from college straight to WWE. Yeah. He worked for WWE for I think a couple of years uh, in the office. He came cool with JBL. Mm -hmm. Work was his assistant, I think. Left there, and then Zandig thought since he was signed to, not signed, since he worked for WWE, that he would try to bring CCW to the promised land. Yeah. So then he turned him into a ref for no reason. Okay. And then he left there, and then he went to GC, made GCW, and that's it. What do you think is with the, the other with the other fuckhead? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think is the is the formula? Like like what do you what do you think that he that, that made GCW so special? Like you know at first it was it's very much a lot of death matches and but they, you'd have like wrestlers wrestlers you'd have like a Tony Deppin out there just, you know, crushing it with everybody. But, like, what do you think is the formula that makes GCW GCW? I think my, my stuff and the death match, I think that combined is, that's what made it some kind of... Some weird amalgamation yeah, of yeah. just it's perfection. Yeah. And also, too, I think their social media is very strong, and they, they take their time and make their posters look good. We're at, we're at the point now where it's like... It's like everything we do, people will be like... Bah, bah, bah. Yeah, it's yeah. like, it's like, oh, I think because... It always gets to that point, like fans, everything, mm -hmm. that you get to a certain point and the fans start, just, mm -hmm. but then it turns around. I think, turns, last night was, around. I think last night was the turning point with the mock stuff and yeah, coming out of COVID, drawing big houses everywhere, mm -hmm. doing, doing tours all over the place and just selling out everything again yeah. once COVID's over. Yeah, because I mean that's the thing. You guys were we were going everywhere, going to different markets. I can't tell you how many people I met 
that like when I tell them I'm like a wrestler and they're like an indie wrestling fan, like even if it's like you know chatting on social media or something like that for whatever reason or talking to customers, I'm like, oh, you wrestle? And I'm like, who do you wrestle? And like, I've wrestled this place, this place, eight, last 18 years, everybody. He goes, have you wrestled for GCW? And I go, no. And I go, well, I guess we ain't shit, Jake Manning. Like, you know, because I haven't been in GCW. We might have to, we have to change that. I'd love to change that. I, I love what you guys do. I think it's tremendous for wrestling and what Brett's been able to do in COVID is remarkable. We'll have to bring this show to Charlotte. Yeah. Those things up and up. Yeah, for sure. Come to Charlotte. I'm right there. We're doing some weird shit in June. We're going somewhere very weird. We, we could draw probably five people there. Or yeah. we could draw 500. Any spoilers? Any tips? Any clues? Cowboys. Cowboys. And Ricky Morton's never wrestled there. He's the only state he hasn't wrestled in. Boy! Load him up. <laughs> like, so I'm gonna, we're going to check that box for that man. And how about Ricky Morton being so giving with everybody these last, these last couple of years? The best. He's the absolute. Best dude. Uh, I was talking to Dax from FTR, and I was like, we should get him a job <laughs> as, an, as an agent. Yeah, an agent, a trainer, like, like he just. As an agent. Yeah. Like, like the bread and butter of AEW is tag team matches. Why not have the best tag team wrestler of all time mm -hmm. come <laughs> agent the tag matches? Yeah, and, and just put them together and talk. And imagine being able to go to a resource like Arn Anderson and Ricky Morton. Yeah, oh, for yeah. tag matches, you That'd can't awesome. you can't think of a better formula of uh, that whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, now, now that I think about it, yeah, I wanna like Tony. Come on, give a, give him a, give him a tryout. He deserves it. Yeah, he, he deserves it. And and I like he he and what I love about him is he's really changed his attitude over the years. Because when I first met Ricky Morton, he was the most miserable person I've ever met in my life. Miserable. Every time I went to a wrestling show, he complained if ever, anybody went a second over on their matches. He was just always just like Ugh, and I was, and he was like I need to sleep and uh, and then like one day I showed up to an indie show and he was there and he goes how's it going and he's all happy and hugging everybody and he was like very full of life and I was just like Ricky what's going on with you and he goes boy I went to the doctor turns out I was a quart low they gave me a blood transfusion and I'm all good now I'm going to the gym I'm working out I'm taking pre-workout I'm doing runners I'm good to go like and ever since then he's just been like he was a quart low he was a quart low all he all that man needed was too. another pint of blood and he was good to go but Joshua, are we good? We're good. We are good. Uh, I think you signed everything. Okay. Uh, and we will end the show right now and let Joey have some time to hang out. Yeah, Joey's having a real rough day. His neck hurts right no, now. No, I'm just okay. my neck just hurts. Well, well we're going to get you out of here. So, like, I hope you I can, don't smell. So that way you can go visit the CCW table downstairs. I hope but, I do. uh, Joey, is there anything you want to say before we, we log off here on this wonderful sign of life? Uh, thank you guys for all the... 8 by 10s you had me sign today. Turnbuckle pads, which they're kind of weird. And uh, action figures. And uh, I'm going to go back to my Airbnb. I'm going to take a little shower. Uh, I got dried up blood in my ear. Mm -hmm. Get a sprinkle on some pizza. Look at there it is. Some dried up blood, sprinkling on some pizza. Mmm, tasty. Mmm, that's a good blood pizza <laughs> slice. And that's it. That's all I have to say. And the guys and girls, wear a mask if you're around the city. And that's it. That's it. And that's it for Sign It Live. We'll be back with Bruce of RB Cake at 4. Am I correct, Joshua, with that? 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. But we will supposedly be with Rocky Ramiro to sign his stuff at 2. And But after that, we produce the Barber Beefcake to close it all out before that big mania show that nobody's going to watch. I'm going to uh, rip the shit out of him until he's dead. And that you should. Uh, that close it for this edition of Murder, Sign Death, Alive. Murder, death, kill. Murder, death, kill. Gang.